Hey, come see us on tour. We're going to be in Los Angeles, Columbus, Ohio, Dayton, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Lexington, Kentucky, Burbank, California, and Honolulu. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for tickets. So in case you missed it, uh, uh, Candace Owens has blown. She says uh, Kamala Harris has been busted by Candace Owens for lying about having a black grandmother. A woman who was a family friend of Kamala's grandmother claims that she was very fair skinned meaning Kamala Harris's grandmother was very fair skin, which contradicts the photo that Kamala shared where she claimed to be with her grandmother, Beryl. Oh, yeah, that was a servant, that woman. So, so <laughs> That was not a grandma. First of all, come on, loosen up already. Who hasn't lied about their grandmother being black? Am I right? <laughs> yeah. They told Jack Nicholson his sister was his, uh, his mother That's was his right. sister. And she was both. Uh, Isn't that amazing that he was in a movie of that? That's amazing. But here we go. Watch this. A Jamaican woman has stepped forward, who I can verify to you, knew Kamala's grandma, Beryl. And she remembers her affectionately, by the way. Apparently, Grandma Beryl was a wonderful woman. She adored Kamala's grandma, Beryl. It was just one minor detail that was off. You see, the Beryl that she knew, uh, the one that Kamala presented in her book, was not her. Because the Beryl she knew was white. All right, so all of this was really just common sense. I know it's not that common anymore, but it really was common sense from the beginning. And I want people to know, let the record show, let the history books show, that all I did was conduct basic black people science. I looked at this photo here, the photo that Kamala put in her book of her and Grandma Beryl, and I said, no, scientific consensus rejects this theory for a ton of reasons. One of them being, I just didn't feel like this woman was her grandma. I have a Caribbean grandma. They're all up in your face. I don't feel the affection in this photo. I'm not thinking this is a very dark woman. I'm not thinking this is the mother of Donald Harris at all. Like, I, I know genetics can be funky, but I was going, mm-mm. Mm -mm. This woman does not look like she owned and operated a store. There were so many things that were throwing me off. Even the whole story of the grandparents owning all of these stores. I'm going, what are you talking about? 1914 to 1938 in Jamaica. But we were just getting out of slave chains. And you're telling me like your family just became like so dominant and we're running these dry goods stores. And this grandma had that something was off. Okay. Maybe this... Maybe it sold slaves, the store. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying maybe the word black has a looser interpretation now. Like when you go to a restaurant, and you go, I'll have a Coke. It could be a Pepsi. You're not going to complain. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it, I mean, black covers a lot, but uh, Trump gives it to her. That's, I think that's funny. Trump's like, well, no, she is black. And she, yeah. So she has some black relative. I mean, slave owners were known to, you know, uh, force themselves upon their yes. property. So clearly there, something got in. I think it's time for Kamala to go on a hunting trip while we're building a carburetor. Anyway, <laughs> here, watch, here we go. Watch this. Um, and Mrs. Barrow, by the way, I see Vice President Harris on the box. And I sit up straight and I think, my God, she looks so much like Miss Beryl. Her facial features, the only thing is Miss Beryl was much smaller um, in stature. But well, okay, if yeah. Miss Beryl, because Kamala is very fair skinned. Right. Was Beryl fair skinned? Yes, she was. She was. She was. She was fair skinned. She was. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yes, yeah, she was very fair skinned. Oh. With black hair. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. So she was so fair skinned mm. that now that I'm older mm. and I can spot people mm. by their skin coloring, etc., for me, I would say there was something Irish there. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mm. would say um, somewhere along the line, she mm. would have had ancestors that were Irish. Mm. Yes. Actually, can I can I show you a photograph? Of course. Of an old lady. Yes. And some people speculate yeah. that this is Miss Mary. Right. So, oh, sorry. There That's okay. I am so <laughs> <laughs> on technological. Okay. It's just pathetic. Yeah. There we go. Um, okay. Nah, that's not Miss Beryl. That's not Miss Beryl. <laughs> that's definitely not Miss Beryl. Oh, okay. that's not Miss Beryl. So, and, and definitely she has to just show. Yeah. So, <laughs> that is not Miss Beryl. That's no, not Miss Beryl. Definitely not Miss Beryl. Okay. And I, I, I know what she looks like. I couldn't have been in a dream, and she mm. definitely did not look like that. There's another person, but could that be Miss Beryl? No, that's not Miss Beryl. Beryl. That's either. not Miss Beryl either. Oh, okay. Don't know who that is. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
that's not Miss Beryl. That ain't Miss Beryl. You know, as you were describing the fair skin and looking like Kamala, I was thinking, this can't be the Miss Beryl grandma that's in Kamala's book. And clearly you see Lady C's going, wait, fair skin? What did, maybe is this? Nope, that's not Miss Beryl. <laughs> I didn't dream. That's not Miss Beryl. Yeah, that sounds about right. You're saying Irish. And that's funny because Judge Joe Brown had a very distinct memory that Donald Harris told him that he was Irish and Hindu. And things are starting to add up, not in Kamala Harris's favor. And I don't know what to say here, ladies and gentlemen, other than I am truly, untypically speechless. Wait, is Kamala even a woman? <laughs> uh, so that's they the, don't sell her on the blackness now. You notice that they just go woman, woman, woman. They've stopped. I haven't oh, heard really? them bring up. Do you notice they even the thing we just saw before? Mary Catherine Kelly goes, "We need a woman." Oh, They're not right. saying a black woman anymore because oh. black people are like shut up. I well, I think I'm speculating, but why would they stop saying that part? Isn't it important the first black woman? They're just saying woman now. So this is the woman that she claimed was her grandmother, that that other woman's claimed isn't. And Candace Owens seems to believe that that isn't her her real well, grandmother. It, and, it doesn't uh, help. Uh, the, look at the woman, the fake grandmother. She's making a face that says, this bitch here. <laughs> <laughs> so again, I can't say conclusively. We're not saying conclusively. We're saying this is what Candace Owens has uncovered, and that's what, that, that's what this woman has said, who she claims uh, to have known Beryl. She says that she she says that this isn't Beryl. I wish that that other video would be funny if that lady asking the that woman is like, "Cause I'm Beryl, me, this very <laughs> white blonde." <lady." laughs> so anyway, so we'll uh, so according so Candace Owens seems convinced. Uh, we will wait for some conclusive proof um, before we pass I'll, judgment on this story. Yeah, well, uh, Candace has convinced me about Macron. A hundred percent, I'm convinced about Macron. Um, and because it's so easy to disprove a thing like that, what she's saying about Macron. And they won't. It's not her, and they won't. I'm not even going to dignify that with a. Right. What? Why would No, I just want to know that your weird relationship that began with statutory rape and is you're now leading France. I just want to know. If, <laughs> like, that's, the, that's the story without the conspiracy, by the way. And then this one is hilarious. Like, why would Kamala Harris be throwing this out there? Uh, you saw we watched the video of her and uh, Mindy Kaling, and Mindy's like, "You're Indian, right?" Mm -hmm. You're like, "Yup." And I'm just like, "What? Like, why are you?" It's like Tim Waltz loading a gun. Why are you doing this? <laughs> what? This isn't helping. How about if you didn't suck? Just a question. Answer it, and answer it in a, in a way that isn't to like make me fall asleep so I forget that I asked. Hey, come see us on tour. We're going to be in Los Angeles, Columbus, Ohio, Dayton, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Lexington, Kentucky, Burbank, California, and Honolulu. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets.